Supreme Court, Johnson versus Smith, look it up. It's not a motor vehicle. It's a Jeep. I am asking for a supervisor now. Welcome back to the Van Ballion channel guys. Today we head to New Jersey for a video where a sovereign citizen gets pulled over He says for giving state troopers the middle finger But the trooper says he was using his phone while driving However, he does himself no favors whatsoever by going into the soft six script Which of course leads to as always many incorrect claims about the law and his car window getting busted out right Let's get into the video. Yeah, I see you. No, you want to talk to me? You come on this side. I'm not rolling down that window either. Your car is parked out the way it's supposed to be. It's not dangerous. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. And the reason why you pulled me over. You're full of shit! You're full of shit because my cell phone was sitting on my seat playing music. If you seen me on my cell phone, then I guess in your camera see me on my cell phone, correct? Let me see it. Because I got my cameras right here that'll show you something different. I wasn't on a cell phone. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. So even if you did have your camera rolling inside of your vehicle at the time of the alleged offence, the place to make that argument and present that evidence is in court, not at the side of the road. Because I shake, big deal. Because you guys are tyrant thugs. Because you guys are tyrant thugs. You sure are. Why are you pulling me over? Why are you pulling me over? Why are you pulling me over? You're pulling me over to extort money from me. You're pulling me over to try and extort money from me. Because why are you pulling me over? Am I involved in commerce right now? Am I not in my private vehicle? What? Your private vehicle is subject to the rules and regulations of the state of Jersey the moment you take it out onto a public road, whether you're in commerce or not. Also, playing the victim card and tarring all cops with the same brush only shows how much of a narrow-minded fool you are. Because my elbow's resting on the freaking armrest. Why would that make it not shake if I'm resting on a nerve? I can feel it right in my elbow. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not rolling down that window. I'm not rolling down that window. Yeah, that's a camera. Yeah, that's a camera. And yeah, this is a camera. What does it matter to you? I see that. I obviously see that. Yep. Don't touch my vehicle, though. You were. When you were just looking. There's freaking handprints right there on my window. <laughs> oh, you had to call back up because I wouldn't roll down my window? Yeah, well, it's not every day you get to pull over a sovereign citizen nut job, is it? Police need their entertainment like the rest of us. What's going on today, boss? You tell me, he pulled me over. You got any identification on you, my guy? I sure do. Can we get it? No, you can't. Am I arrested? Am I under arrest? Stop, right? Am I under arrest? No, but it's a traffic stop. Am yeah, I under arrest? 
and why? You're under arrest if you don't identify yourself. Oh, you're threatening to arrest me now, okay? To not I'm identify myself, works. okay? I'm telling you how the law works. Yeah? You get stopped for a traffic offense. Okay. Driving a car is not a right given to you. It's a privilege. Excuse me? It's a privilege. Excuse right? me? No, it's not. It is a freaking right. Put your hands on the steering wheel. It is a right. Thank you, sir, but it is a right. There, there's my hand on the steering wheel. It's a right. Prove to me that it is a right. privilege. Just Prove to me that it's a privilege. Johnson versus Smith, Supreme you Court. Drive at, at 15 years old. Excuse me? You have to get a driver's license to drive. No, you vehicle. don't. You don't have to have a driver's license. You don't have to have a driver's license. And then to operate a motor vehicle, you have to identify yourself. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Supreme Court, buddy. The Supreme Court, Johnson versus Smith. Look it up. Uh, I think it's you who needs to look it up because Thompson, not Johnson versus Smith, does not in any way say you do not need a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle on a public road. In fact, it says quite the opposite. The same goes for any other Supreme Court case you think supports your absurd claim. Proof that you need a license comes from, well, common sense and looking up state law. And try googling Hendrix versus Maryland and read it carefully because that is the seminal case that debunks your whole argument. Oh, and stop reading cherry-picked cases on soft websites and watching misleading YouTube videos because they profit off of your stupidity. I'm telling you right now. You can tell me all you want. I know my rights. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I know my rights, buddy. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Again, I'm going to... Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? You're going to be if you don't identify. Oh, so you're threatening me to, that I'm going to be under... Yes, you are. You're threatening me. You're threatening me. You are threatening me. Go ahead and threatening me. Because I do have the right to travel... Without a license, registration, or insurance, look it up. Yeah. Johnson versus Smith's in the United States Supreme Court, look it up. What's that say on the back of my Jeep? Right on the very top, UCC 1-308. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? You don't. Look it up. Keep your hands on the camera for me. They're right there. Look it up. UCC 1-308. Supreme Court, Johnson versus Smith, look it up. First of all, it takes a special kind of stupid to get the wrong Supreme Court case wrong. Again, it's Thompson versus Smith, not Johnson versus Smith. Secondly, you can scream and shout and plaster as many UCCs and derogatory terms on the back of your vehicle as you like. It doesn't make you right or put you above the law. If anything, it's an advertisement to law enforcement that you're riding dirty. Come on this side. Yep, you're here. You wanna give me your stuff now? Nope, I have no reason to. Am I under arrest? Oh, yeah. Alright, I explained it to you multiple times, oh. my guy, right? State of New Jersey. Yes. Get stopped for a traffic offense. Right? If you're involved in commerce, correct. Am I involved in commerce? No, I'm not. Am I involved in commerce? Am I involved in commerce? Am I involved in commerce? In the state of New Jersey. Correct. I can drive a vehicle. It's not a motor vehicle. It's a Jeep. No, I don't. First of all, if you only needed to provide your license, registration and insurance when operating in commerce, the law would clearly state that. Also, these troopers wouldn't be wasting their time asking. Secondly, saying it's not a vehicle, it's a Jeep when Jeep is a brand of motor vehicle puts you in the running for dumbest soft sick comment of the year. And it's only January. No, I don't. You do? No, I don't. United States Supreme That's Court, Johnson versus Smith, court, UCC 1-308. Figure out in court, I'm not doing this on the side of the road. <laughs> then you're going to be, I'm not going to court either. That's fine. You're Am I under arrest? If you don't give your documents, you're going to the yeah. All right, so, by, uh, what's the emergency anyway? Sorry? What's the emergency? Because I noticed you guys were using your emergency lights. What's the emergency? Traffic stops. Traffic stops. We don't want you getting hit. That's what we're doing. Oh, you don't want me getting hit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not that any soft sit argument deserves an explanation or the time of day, but I think that's the first time I've heard a cop shut down the emergency lights nonsense with a good, honest, rational explanation. So again, I am going to ask you, am I under arrest? You're going to be. Okay. Am I? I'm asking you, am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? You don't give documents, you're going to be. 
So you're threatening me to give you my documents. No, I'm telling you. No, you're threatening me. You're telling me if, no, you're threatening me. No, that's a negative. Am I under arrest? You're going to be, yes. So that's a threat. No, no. That is a no, threat. That's not a threat. Is I'm it a promise? Telling you what's going on. Is it a promise? It's gonna happen, okay? So you're not. Uh, Am I under arrest? You know what I mean? so Am I under happen. arrest? All right, we got another car. Get coming. your hand off my vehicle now. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. Okay? Get your hand off my vehicle so now. What's gonna happen? Okay? Name and badge number. I'm Trooper Hoffman, badge eight three one seven. Thank you. Tell me that, okay? Thank you. This is what's gonna happen. All right? Okay, let's hear it. As for a state, we yep. have to identify you. No, you don't. I have yeah, a right to stay private. Figure this out in court, that's Am right. I under arrest? You're going to be, yes. Am I under arrest? You know what? I'm invoking my rights. If I invoke my rights, you can't demand anything from me. Invoking your rights isn't some magic incantation that makes all this go away, you know. Under state law, you are still required to identify yourself whether you like it or not. Oh, so now we got three of you here. So we're gonna do this the easy way, the hard way, okay? Okay, come on, keep threatening me, cause God, okay. oh, I'm loving this. Okay. I'm loving this. You're gonna lose your qualified immunity. You're gonna lose your qualified immunity. And if the officer behind me does not do anything, he's going to lose his qualified immunity. Come on. Come on. You know, if uh, I suggest you call a supervisor then, because if you guys don't know my rights, your supervisor better. So again, you better call a supervisor. One of two things, all right? I'm asking for a supervisor. I'm asking for a supervisor. I'm asking legal traffic stop my ass. Where's the partner here stopped you for a legal reason? I wasn't here, but he stopped you, right? He probably explains to you why he stopped you. He said I was on my cell phone that was sitting on my phone, and I have two cameras here to prove that I was not on my cell phone. I can't prove. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. He did not see me on the phone. He's full of shit. You know why he pulled me over? You know why he pulled me over? I'll tell you exactly why he pulled me over. Because when he was coming down the road, he shot me with his radar. What did I do? I decided to redress my grievances against my uh, against my uh, government. So what did I do? I rolled down the window and I gave him the finger. And then he waved and realized I was giving him the finger and turned around and he pulled me over. Again. Again, the place to make that argument is in court where you submit your evidence and the state submits theirs. Adding more charges into the mix doesn't help the situation. I mean, it's entertaining for us, but it doesn't help you. Tell me how I can be on my phone with one hand going down the stoop. Did I watch you do that? No, I'm not. Tell me how I can be on my phone. Tell me how I can be on my phone with one hand. So again, no. what we're doing here is... You're we're doing. We're you're violating my rights. Arrest. You're violating my rights. That's fine. All right? That's, fine. <laughs> That's so, fine. What you think is going on? Then you can think that. I'm telling you. I'm asking case. for a supervisor now. Okay. I'm asking for a supervisor now. I am 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 asking Get for a car. supervisor now. Get out of the car. I am asking for a supervisor now. I am asking for a supervisor now. I am asking for a supervisor now. On your back. On your back. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Look at this. Over the right. Over the right. Look at five of them, look at this, five of them. And now for the window break and arrest from the officer's body camera. Now, this footage is from a camera pointed at a TV screen, so it's not the best, uh, but it's all we have at the moment. Enjoy.
of course they have five officers arresting you. You believe the law doesn't apply to you. That makes you extremely dangerous in my opinion. So yeah, I would want all hands on deck too. Right, so that's where I'm going to leave this one because, as you can see, the footage is just terrible. But I'll leave a link to the original for anyone who would like to continue watching. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave me a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to support the channel and get early access to videos like this, then please consider becoming either a channel member or a patron. Right, take care all, and I will catch up with you in the next video.